What's up guys? Welcome back to another video and we made it back on board Hakuna a couple of days ago We went provisioning we went shopping for some groceries because we will be crossing to Puerto Rico in the next couple of days We woke up and we, I was cutting Alejo's hair and we have a whale right next to the boat because the freaking rat is eating all of our food and she likes the good food. What day is it? So today is my birthday. So. It means no worries. We have a huge problem aside from that, and it's that we came back to having a rat on board. I have never killed a rat. We have never faced a rat. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> How did we find out that we have a rat on board? So we have rat poop right here. The dropping. Oh my god. And check out this big hole. It's brand new for the dog, for Ozzy. Our rice, we have a hole too. Oh my god. We are tracking the mouse. There's another poop here. So what's the problem with having uh, rats on board? That well, they I eat the cables of the electric system. They bite it so they can damage anything electrical. So guys, before we continue with this video, I just wanted to say that so many of you guys have actually asked us how we managed to live on a sailboat and how we managed to travel full time. Like, how do we actually afford it? That's the question. And that's probably what we get asked the most. And um, the answer is that we have an online business. We sell pet supplements and pet grooming supplies. You can check it out. It's mokaipaws.com. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. But um, I did want to say that we started this business four years ago and we started by selling on Amazon. And the way we were able to do this is by taking a course from Amazing. And right now they're running a huge promotion and the only reason why I'm recommending it to you guys is because again, I get asked a lot of questions about this. And second, because I know the huge value that Amazing um, brings. So you can check it out. It's livinghakuna.com forward slash amazing um, it's packed with lots of information it's a huge opportunity for those of you guys that are looking to get into online business if you're looking to learn how to have a remote job like we do run a business as long as you have an internet connection or if you are just looking to kind of get your foot in the door and just kind of get an idea it's a it's a super easy course only seven days only 97 dollars and we know firsthand that amazing has the best instructors in the industry, the best information. And if you guys are interested in selling on Amazon, if you're interested in online businesses, e-commerce, amazing is your go-to place because that's where you will learn everything that you need to know. Again, this course is only running for $97. You can visit livinghakuna.com forward slash amazing. And I hope this information is as valuable to you guys as it was for us when we started four years ago. Bye, let's keep going with the video. So guys, we still have not found the rat and we're still putting a lot of, what, what is that called? Mouse traps. bun traps. Mouse traps all around the boat. We had cleaned up and now everything's out there because the freaking rat is eating all of our food and she likes the good food. She doesn't like the bad food. She likes what's tasty. She ate, freaking rat ate our crackers also ate our pita chips from Stacy. She ate the pita chips from Stacy. What's happening, Sue? We haven't been able to, to capture the rat. So I went and bought some massive rat traps. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> They're huge. So she steps on here and plak. Quacate. Plak. So we've been pretty frustrated this morning. Last night I woke up at 5 a.m. just like thinking of the rat because you know she's there and we woke up this morning and the freaking rat just keeps eating our food. Like she ate our tostitas, she ate our pita chips, she ate, what else did she eat? The crackers, the, the rice, crackers, dog the food. rice, the dog food. Like what is up with this rat? It's a huge so, rat. So it's a huge rat and like we put eight traps last, yesterday. The ones that were sticky, 
she literally just grabbed the cheese and kept walking we could see her paw prints like she's huge and we had the other type of tra uh, traps which were like this ones but they were smaller and i just think this freaking rat has to be the size of my forearm yeah. I feel like Tom and Jerry, where we're like Tom and we're like trying to catch Jerry and we're not catching Jerry. <laughs> mm. Seriously, if having a rat in a house is horrible, just imagine on a boat where like literally all of the floors open up, you have lots and lots and lots of space and holes. I did not want to kill the rat in the beginning. Now I'm super ready to kill the rat because she's eating all of our food and she's leaving poop everywhere she goes. So we are leaving. We just left the dog that we have been at for the past, was that three, three weeks? weeks? Three weeks we have been stuck here. Three and a half. Three and a half here in Luperon, almost, almost a month. We are going with an additional crew member, not just the four of us. We're going with Jerry. We arrived with four, four, four crew. We're living with five. <laughs> Samana. It's already 1.30 p.m. So yeah, you can see my face is pretty tired. And we have done 45 nautical miles. We have traveled a total of eight hours and our average speed is 5.6 knots. We should be arriving to Samana in around like 4 or 5 a.m. So yeah, we still have a long way ahead. I forgot to tell you guys, all our plants died while we left the boat. So we're starting over. Only two plants survived. Starting over. We have parsley, cilantro. This one is one of them that survived. And then we have a bunch of them. They swim pretty fast and the sea was very choppy so it was hard to catch up and once we got closer they would just go under and we can't see them so yeah. yeah but they're pretty cool so what are we doing now we're going to get some fuel because we're going to puerto rico when drink some mojitos you know? <laughs> when are we going to puerto rico uh it could be monday or tuesday probably monday and what's happening tomorrow Oh shit. <laughs> I'm turning 30 people. He's so old. He's turning 30. So how do you feel? Oh, my Three? back hurts. <laughs> my knee hurts. Everything hurts. We were planning on spending his birthday in Puerto Rico. Our friend, our best friends were gonna come to visit us, but the weather didn't really allow us for them to come, for us to go to Puerto Rico. It's just gonna be a chill weekend. 
then yeah. we're gonna celebrate once we get to Puerto Rico. Yes. Right? Looking good, baby, looking good. So that way I don't look 30, I look like 16. <laughs> Except for the beard. How old do you think you look? I don't know. How old do I think? Do you guys think I look? Do I look pretty old? No. Let me know. So we are on the move and Alejo doesn't know that we are going to be spending the weekend at the marina. I have some little things planned for him so he can have a good 30th birthday. But it's a surprise. So let's hope he enjoys it. Let's hope he enjoys it. He's gonna get a massage at the spa in the hotel. We're gonna have a nice food, a nice dinner, um, lunch, a surprise breakfast, a cake with some candles, which we don't get here on the boat because there's pretty much nothing around us. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty happy for him. And I just hope he has a really good birthday tomorrow. Ya va. Babe, what happened? Ozzy fell down. Getting off the boat, he fell down. And it's pretty high. It's like six feet high. Yeah. And the dog just went like, Loop. He gets in such a hurry to do things that he just didn't think and just like jumped like in a hurry without thinking about it. And he dropped straight down. Docking the marina was hard. We were in a really, really tight spot. Was it stressful? Very stressful. If it wasn't Alejo's birthday, we probably would be fighting right now <laughs> because I was super stressed out and he was stressed out and we almost hit the boat next to us because it was a really, really tight spot. It was windy, so I don't know, all the odds against us. But luckily we're here, we're good. Nothing bad happened, except that Ozzy fell right afterwards, fell in the water, but aside from that, that's it. Baby, ¿qué día es hoy? What day is it? So today is my birthday. How do you feel? You're 30! <laughs> it's really nice. Andrea made me some very good pancakes with chocolate, honey, and sugar powder. Very, very sweet. Like, <laughs> just how I like it. Ay, sí, qué linda la periquita. Oh, so relaxed. Enjoy my beer. <laughs> we'll see what the 30s have store for me. How's your birthday going so far, baby? Very good, but you're taking me somewhere. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Is it a surprise? It's not a surprise. You, what do you expect it to be? I don't know. You tell me. Where are we going? <laughs> well, Andrea made some pancakes for me. Then we went to a pool with some beers. And then we went to get some lunch at the restaurant. We, we got some nice pizzas. And then Andrea had a birthday cake made for me as a surprise so it was very very nice Años feliz cumpleaños Alejo cumpleaños Eddie Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you No tiene nada Happy birthday Happy birthday to you Gracias Baby. And now another surprise, which I don't know where we're going. Blinded? Yeah, of course. That's the way to put it. So. Cogeme bien que si me caigo del muelle nos vamos juntos. Ay, qué puta. Arriba. Up. Up. Okay. Otra. No, walk. Ya me desperté ya contra una puerta de a propósito. Imagina. <laughs> okay, you have to follow me, okay? You have to do big steps. Okay, right, left. Right, left. So people were lost. Andrea doesn't even know where we're going. And she's not playing point 
blind, blindfolded. <laughs> Not a good experience, ma'am. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> it is a good experience. Not a good it's experience. It's part of the experience. <laughs> it is part of the experience. Okay, there's a step. Step uh, down. I how does it feel to be like Echo? Very, very, very annoying. <laughs> okay. No, sigue. Caminando con la baranda. Marilla. ¿Sabes qué te regalo? Me voy a meter una bañera con eucalipto. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys, have you ever done a spa before? No. This is your first time? First time. Ah, bueno. Ya, muchas gracias. What are you going to say to the lady? Excuse me, ma'am. I have some lower back pain. I have tight tights. <laughs> tight tights? <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. It was so relaxing. Was it? <laughs> I was meditating the whole time. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah? It was From fun. 1 to 10. A 10. I did this every month, <laughs> once a month. <laughs> Yesterday, to end my birthday, we decided to leave the marina because it wasn't worth paying another day in the marina if we were just going to sleep. So, yeah, we just moved to in front of Samana and this morning we did immigration and everything so we're ready to head out to Puerto Rico tomorrow and today is laundry day as you can see lots of laundry laundry and we're gonna check the engines engine oil cell drives belts so it's the last day here in Dominican Republic finally and we're doing laundry and, ah, so <laughs> and now we're taking the dogs out. Republic, make sure to ask for a receipt when you do immigration because we did not get a receipt when we checked in in Luperon and then when we were checking out here of Samana doing immigration they charged us again the same amount that we had already paid in Luperon they told us here that we were supposed to pay at a checkout and over there they told us a check-in the corruption here in DR is insane and so it really makes you angry but we are not going to let the bad things take over the good things so but one more but i mean in the last video we did mention all the positives about the r this beautiful place where we came last time it is a beautiful island the the it says you know in general the dominican republic has the most beautiful places but i think the aside from corruption the second biggest problem that dominican republic has is the amount of trash that you see everywhere and it's not like maybe in the bahamas where it just gets like a lot of trash from everywhere no like people actually leave their plastic trash here and they don't care that it goes in the ocean a bottle of beer people just leave their plastic trash everywhere and they don't care about picking it up the other day we saw diapers cups forks straws everything that you can think of check it out and they just don't care like they think someone else is gonna pick it up you can see trash everywhere the beach is super nice but you can see bags cups and the straws. ocean is packed yeah oh when we were doing the tour of the awesome. whales um our guide with Freo, he was giving us that information that people here unfortunately the dominican republic they have not 
really been educated in terms of the they could have a trash like literally the trash is right there like you walk five steps and the trash is right there anyway enjoying our last day enjoying our last evening and yeah what's up guys what's up guys so we are gonna pick a random winner for the t-shirt contest that we did last week yep remember that the winner had to be subscribed to our channel you had to like last week's video and you had to know my sister's first name which is natalia yes and it was her birthday last week so you can say happy birthday to her yeah so we made a list with all your names we put yep. a number next to it we did and now we're gonna pick a random winner pick a random winner all right so we're generating the numbers from Go. number 16 and the winner is Louis Hempel. Luis Sorry if we mispronounced the name, Luis. We're gonna send you a message and just send us an email with your information so we can send you your awesome Hakuna t-shirt. 